Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about measure of dispersion. Also, we call it as measure of spread. This is very important concept to understand. It is very widely used in statistics. So, in this class, we are going to provide an intuition about what's the use of this measure of spread in data analysis. It's very, very important to understand this class. This graphical intuition and the intuition, the data analysis intuition which we provide here will help you a lot in understanding the remaining when you, when you go with data analysis. In our next class, we are going to discuss about how different ways to find the measure of a dispersion. So in this class, we will go with the, the deeper understanding of what's the meaning of a measure of dispersion. Coming to today's class, measure of dispersion or spread. Let's understand with the definition, measure, measure of dispersion, the measurement of the scattered of the given data about the average is said to be measure of dispersion also we call it a spread of data means the measurement of the scatteredness of the data how much it dispersed from the average from the average that is what how much it scattered from the average that is what measure of dispersion means let's try to understand with an example what's why it is very important in statistics so for a better understanding, we have taken this example. We are taking three restaurants and we collected the data from three restra restaurants and we plotted the data means we uh, the distributions are like this. On the x axis, we are going to take uh, thousands it means each day how many thousands it is going to collect 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K like that. We have collected the data for uh, 30 days means one month and we plotted this distribution on the y-axis we are going to take a number of days means 4000 has collected for one day 5000 has collected for two days 6000 collected for four days like that this is how our distribution means looks like so this is for restaurant one the same thing have done for restaurant two and our data looks like this uh, on the x-axis we have to write uh, 4k 5k all those things on the y-axis we have to write number of days uh, this is similar for all the restaurants that's why we have not written here in order to not to mess the things here and we have collected the data for third restaurant also this is how our distribution looks so here what we understand from these three diagrams on an average this restaurant is going to get 7000 per day that is what we have understand from this uh, distribution the same way the same way this restaurant also getting 7000 this restaurant also is getting 7000 if someone asked you to buy with any one of this restaurant which one you go with uh, everyone is collecting 7000 7000 7000 but this is the good restaurant to buy why why because the spread of the data from the average is less when compared to these two examples, two restaurants. So what happens if the spread of the data is large? That is the point you have to understand. If the spread of the data, let's take this example, this restaurant, if the spread of the data is large means even though the average is 7K, one day you are getting 1K, some days you are getting 15K, some days you are getting 2K, means your business is not stable. But if you, if you take this, uh, almost all near to 7K, 8K, 9K, 6K like that, uh, your business is stable. So that is the point you will understand with the measure of spread. Uh, how volatile your data is. Measure of spread is going to give you how volatile means uncertainty of your uh, data. Means you have to analyze much on this restaurant because uh, your business is not stable. Some days you are going to get 1K. Why? On which days? Why you are getting much? Uh, on which days? You there is lot of information hidden to analyze simply by taking the average and saying that this is uh, so each of them is getting good uh, uh, 7K. So buy you can buy any restaurant. That is not the point you have to say in data analysis. Uh, so that's why measure of spread is very very important in statistics okay so this is the point you have to understand uncertainty of the data you have to analyze much about this data and let's take one more example for better understanding if you take uh, two areas area one and area two if you collect the data of house prices in this area 
area 1 area 2 if you plot the data like this uh, this is area 1 and this is area 2 9k 10k 11k like that we are having on the y axis you should have number of houses means frequency of the houses which is having 8k so we have not written that all those things uh, if your distribution is like this and the area 2 if your distribution is like this uh, so which area is uh, you can blindly say that in this area you can buy a house on an average you can you can buy a house for a 10k because uh, all the remaining ha houses are also very near to this point 8k 9k 10k 11k not much difference that is what spread means but in when you compare to this area area 2 see some you are getting some houses for 1k also you are getting some houses for 20k also blindly taking the average and buying a house with this value is not good for this area you don't know which area you have bought means you need more analysis on this data lot of information hidden in this data as the spread increases information is also increases information in this data is also increases you need more analysis that is the points you have to understand the, this is what measure of spread says as the spread increases lot of information lot of volatility means uncertainty of our data so how to how to find the measure of dispersion there are different ways range quartal deviation mean deviation standard deviation so in our coming classes we are going to discuss uh, how, uh, these equations and uh, which one is uh, going to use uh, this is the mostly used one is standard deviation in our coming classes we are going to discuss about this hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you